So the other day I was clipping my nails. Um, I'm diligent about that. And I was looking at my hands and I had like this flashback and all of a sudden I just, I, you know, I, I looked and I, I saw my grandfather's hands. My grandfather's hands. They, I just, you know, I thought of my grandfather's hands uh, and technically I am a grandfather, which I'm proud of, but um, let's face it, th this doesn't look like a grandfather's face. And I go to uh, great uh, efforts to make sure that that's not the case. So uh, my hands are not going to look like a grandfather's either. And I think I need to step up my game a little bit uh, in terms of hand care. A lot of people right now are using hand sanitizers like there's no tomorrow and uh, for good reason but they can be very, very drying. You know, that we've all talked about that, you know, high alcohol content and even soap and other things too um, can, can make your hands dry and rough and uh, painful, actually. Um, forced air heat, you know, depending on the climate that you live in, certain medication can uh, contribute to dry hands. So there are a lot of reasons um, that are actually working against your hand health. Uh, the simple solution to something like that would be to use, you know, hand lotion. Um, I'm not sure that everybody does. I think men are particularly guilty of just um, abusing their hands and just sort of settling for that. But again, you know, now that, uh, you know, we're making a, more of an effort to make sure that our hands are clean and germ-free, I think that uh, uh, you have to do something to counteract all of the damage. Uh, so, you know, the simple solution being, um, uh, you know, a hand lotion. But let's go back a little bit um, to actually how you cleanse your hands. Um, certain things are going to be more drying than others. Um, again, you want to be sure that you are actually getting your hands clean. That's the first consideration. Um, what I actually do is, you know, I'm really good about like, you know, two minutes scrubbing and, you know, using a very, very thorough um, soap to do so, a liquid soap. Um, uh, but I, I follow it up with, um, I'll show you something here. This is a body scrub. It's a soft soap and, uh, it has a lot of cocoa butter in it. And, uh, just because it's a body scrub doesn't mean that, um, that, uh, it isn't something that you can't use for your hands. And when you think about a scrub, well, if you have dry skin on your face or any part of your body, like your elbows or your knees or your heels, um, the first step in remediating the dry skin is to exfoliate. So why wouldn't you do that with your hands? Uh, this, this particular product allows me to do that every time I wash my hands. But um, if you need to exfoliate your your hands. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of options. Okay. You can make your own um, exfoliator and the key would be to use something that's granular. This is going to be a little home recipe for you so that you can exfoliate, but at the same time, you don't want to dry your hands out any further. So you need uh, an emollient. You need um, something that is a uh, moisturizing medium that you can mix the the granular component with. So sugar in the raw is a great granular component, uh, as is cornmeal. And these are both super, super inexpensive. You may have them in your cupboard already. 
Um, and you can just mix it with olive oil. Now, I have friends who are manicures and they swear by olive oil. Um, they actually even recommend that you take olive oil, pour it into a little bowl, and then soak your fingertips in it um, as a treatment. So this is a, it's an age old remedy and um, it's super easy to do. So uh, what you may want to do then is you know take your cornmeal or your sugar and your olive oil, rub it around. And by the way, as long as you're doing your hands with this, you might as well do your elbows and knees and heels. It's great on all of that stuff. Uh, uh, but then you have to wash it off. And then if you want to go the treatment route, now that you've successfully exfoliated and gotten the, the, um, the dry, flaky um, cracks attended to, uh, then, then you want to go into uh, something that is going to stay on your hands and... Uh, so, something that you could also wear uh, with gloves overnight. You probably heard um, along the line that a lot of people um, to heal their hands will take like a pair of cotton gloves and um, uh, petroleum jelly like Vaseline and wear that overnight. And it does, it really does help. Um, I'm a bigger fan of latex gloves because they don't breathe and they really keep the uh, the uh, substance that you put on your hands overnight a lot more sealed in. Um, they're, you know, they're disposable too. So I think that that helps. Um, but it, as you can see here, I'm actually um, putting on a pair that has a fairly um, tight fit. And uh, that's also something that, if you think about it, um, when you have a fit like this, you can be treating your hands, but you know what? You can also be on your electronic devices. I can dial my cell phone with, with uh, a glove like this. And a good place to find um, gloves like this, latex gloves um, or non-latex gloves, I, believe, I think these are vinyl now that I think about it is at a beauty supply store and they come in different sizes. So make sure your gloves fit. Okay, so if you don't wanna put the Vaseline uh, on your hands, I have some alternatives. Here's a really good natural one. This is coconut oil. But as you can see here, this is not like in its liquid form. I'm gonna show you how this comes, all right? This is a solid. All right, and if you rub this around in your hands, oh, I'm gonna make a total mess here, but you can, you can see how much moisture I'm getting out of that. And the, and the, the, the solid uh, form of the product, as soon as you start rubbing your hands around, your body heat will, um, will make it uh, much more pliable and actually transition it from solid form to liquid form. All right, so it smells really good too. Um, but that's a really great natural uh, um, moisturizing component that is very, very intense. Uh, the, the issue with this, as good as it is, is that it, you know, it feels really greasy on your hands. So I have a couple of other alternatives and they might be a little bit surprising. Um, the, the one that I use, and I use this all over my body, but especially on my hands because I, I know that it makes a big difference. So we talked about the Vaseline this is baby oil gel. And you've probably seen this uh, in stores before. So um, the components in here are mineral oil. Um, that's a petroleum derivative, and it's basically um, a liquid form of what um, petrolatum or Vaseline is made out of. 
Uh, but there's aloe gel in here too. So I find that this product, uh, and you can kind of see it comes out like in gel form. I find that this has a real moisturizing quality to it. But because there's such a big um, amount of aloe in it, it's not quite as oily and uh, greasy feeling uh, as, as like heavy duty Vaseline or the solid form of the coconut oil. So I really like this idea. And you can get this um, at any drugstore. Uh, the key would be baby oil and the word gel. That's what you're looking for. Uh, you might find it in like the cosmetic section, um, but you also might find it in the baby section. So look in both departments. Now, another thing that I want you to think about is uh, sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen for your hands, okay? People get age spots here. They actually get, you know, cancer on their hands. Um, we don't think about uh, putting sunscreen on our hands. Uh, and most of us, I think, are pretty negligent about putting sunscreen anywhere. But um, sunscreen is a great alternative to a heavy duty uh, hand cream. And then you're getting additional benefits that you really should. Uh, the, the sunscreen it is a moisturizing component. It's a little bit lighter in its feel. Uh, so that might be um, desirable on your part. Uh, but when you think about it, sunscreens are also made to last. That's the whole idea of protecting uh, you from the sun is to have something that will actually stay on. Some of them are like, you know, this one says it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So if it's water resistant, it will probably last you throughout the day for quite a while. And again, you are giving your hands the sunscreen that they should be getting. Uh, so remember to put sunscreen on your hands. Uh, and then just one other thing that I was completely unaware of, this company called Gold Bond, they're, they're known for like their foot products and skincare, but they, they make, they actually make a hand lotion and it says diabetics dry skin relief because diabetics have, um, a lot of issues that come along with, um, uh, with that particular, uh, disease. And, uh, this has been specially formulated for diabetics. However, that does not mean that, uh, somebody who doesn't have diabetes, um, uh, couldn't use this. So, um, I think that this is probably researched well enough and effective enough so that it would be a really good choice for anybody out there. Okay, so let's take care of our hands. Let's exfoliate them. Let's keep them clean first. Then let's exfoliate them. Then let's find a moisturizing, um, uh, you know, component that will uh, feel good and, and work for you. We've looked at several choices here. And then don't forget, you know, to, to pamper your hands. Um, treat them, you know, wear, wear uh, some gloves and, you know, put something heavy duty on your hands and wear them overnight, wear them for an hour. Here's something from Aveeno and their hand masks, okay? So this is a treatment you don't want to go to all the trouble of, uh, you know, making your own hand treatment and wearing it overnight or, you know, going to find some vinyl gloves someplace. Um, this little package um, contains the gloves and it contains the directions and there's lots of good stuff in it. And this is, uh, this says that you, you only wear it for 10 minutes, okay? So 
no excuses now for anybody to have dry, cracked hands. Um, you don't have to settle for that in the process of keeping your hands clean. Let's take care of them. And hey, you know, give yourself a hand for taking care of your hands. Thanks for joining me on StyleWise today. I'm John Jordan. Please subscribe, please comment. I love to hear from you. Uh, and, you know, I, this this is all interactive. I'm, I'm learning from you. I hope you learn some things from me, okay? Thanks a lot. Like what you're seeing? Well, share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel.